let's just go ahead and do 2.1.1 so consider the geometric series 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus and a half does the series converge justify your answer so what is the prerequisite for a series to converge we need r to be between 1 and minus 1 when this is the case our series is converging and when that is not the case it is diverging so let's go ahead and see if it is going to be converging or diverging we have r being equals to t2 divided by t1 that is r in a geometric series so t2 we can take 2 and t1 we can take 4 obviously 2 divided by 4 that is a half a half lies between minus 1 and 1 so indeed this series converge so it converges because r is equals to a half which is between minus 1 and positive 1 so there we go we have answered 2.1.1 what about 2.1.2 let's take a look at that 2.1.2 calculate s infinity the sum to infinity if it is converging we can calculate the sum to infinity so 2.1.2 actually tells you the answer to 2.1.1 or it hints at the answer it is telling you that this series is converging because we can only calculate the sum to infinity if it is converging anyway sum to infinity a divided by 1 minus r so a is the first term which is 4 divided by 1 minus r r is a half so 4 divided by half this is equals to 8 so the sum to infinity of this geometric series is 8 2.2 so 2.2 we're given uh, some sigma notation right and we're supposed to calculate the value of k so let's take a look we have uh, this sigma notation running from p is equals to k to 10 where the formula is 3 to the power p minus 1 and this is all equals to 29,520 so let's take a look the first term is going to be 3k minus 1 the second term is going to be whatever it is we can't really say because we don't have the value of k but the last term is going to be 3 to the power 10 and if we add those terms we get 29,520 what we can deduce from this is a the first term the first term is equals to 3 to the power k minus 1 and another thing we can figure out is r the common ratio because this is geometric the common ratio is going to be 3 r is equals to 3 that is the common ratio right because we know that a geometric series is in the form a r n minus 1 a seems to be 1 in our equation r is 3 and then n minus 1 that is p minus 1 in our case so we have a and we have r and we have the sum of the 10 terms right or not the 10 terms let me not say that we have the sum up to k terms not up to k terms but from k to 10 we don't know the number of terms actually and this is equals to 29,520 so we can formally see that the sum of n terms is equals to a multiplied by r to the n minus 1 everything divided by r minus 1 we have the sum we have a um do we have n let's calculate n then n is equals to the number at the top so 10 minus the number at the bottom which is k plus 1 this is the number of terms so this will boil down to 11 minus k so there we go this is the value of n the number of terms let's go ahead and finally substitute we're going to have 29,520 when equals to a a is the first term so this is 3k minus 1 multiplied by r to the power n r is 3 and n is 11 minus k minus 1 everything divided by n minus 1 um r minus 1 i mean r is 3 so we have 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 so if we cross multiply 
we have 29,520 multiplied by 2. So this is 59,040. Being equals to 3k minus 1 multiplied by 311 minus k minus 1. So let's multiply these by k and these, not by k, but by 3 to the power k minus 1. So 59,040 will be equals to. So 3, if we multiply numbers of the same base, we add the exponents. Let's just add it on the side. k minus 1 plus 11 minus k. k minus k, 0 minus 11 plus minus 1 plus 11, that is 10. So we actually have 3 to the power 10 minus 3 k minus 1. So let's take 3 to the power 10 to the left hand side. We're going to have 59,040 minus 3 to the power 10 being equals to minus 3 k to the minus 1. So 59,040 minus 3 to the power 10. Um, 59,040 minus 3 to the power 10. I'm getting minus 9 being equals to minus 3 k to the minus 1. So dividing both sides by minus 1, 9 is equals to 3 k minus 1. We want to drop the basis and equate the exponents. So let's write 9 as 3 to the power 2 is equals to 3 k minus 1. So 2 is equals to k minus 1, 3 is equals to k. There we go. Which video do you want me to do next? Let me know in the comments right now.